Hi everybody, I am back again and I'm making a shaker dashboard for my pocket um, ring bound planners that I am make and you know, I'm in the middle of making these so that I can put them in the shop. I do not sell just covers if you're wondering. I like to sell planners already filled and ready to go because that's what I love to make. I love making all these things over and over again using all the paper and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't just sell a cover. Um, you will get stuff inside and, and it's going to be ready to use pretty much. But I wanted to make a shaker similar to the one that I have in mind. Which is this one here except we're not going to put a, um, a thing on front there because I don't have enough... Um, these but I think I am gonna cut some we're gonna see about that with my silhouette because I do have a lot of vinyl so you might not see that in this video I'm just gonna make the shaker part of it and what I'm gonna use oh I forgot to break out the washi but it's all above me I'm gonna be using these photo protector sheets that I had gotten at Joann's on clearance there's they're five and a half by 4.75 inches and it's two separate pockets um, each hole two photos up to 2.25 inches by four and a half inches tall so we are going to cut that cut this piece off here and you could save it and then reseal it and just make it a loose um, shaker later on um, I'll just probably throw it back in this bag I've had this for a really long time I don't think they have them anymore um, although they might, I don't know. This says 2015 on here. It's 2019 now. So, um, anyway, next to me on my left is all my sequins or most of it. Um, and when I make my shakers, I take my planner and I kind of coordinate to the planner itself. Usually there's a, some kind of a theme or color scheme going on with the planners. Like this one is the Paris theme one. Um, then we have like a rose gold theme but it's got dark colors inside so i'll have to do something different for that <clears throat> and then lastly is my tiffany inspired tiffany's inspired one so we'll have to see what i can use for that but we're just going to work with this one right now <laughs> my cat is playing by herself um, again i have my sequence on the left i have a spoon to scoop things out um, these I get like a bag of from the Dollar Tree. It's very handy to have. You do get a lot in the bag, but um, you can always like if it fits in your container, which I think it does, leave one in each, you know, in each container if you have these. I get these from both Hobby Lobby and Walmart. They're pretty cheap. And this is how I love to store my sequins because they're nice and big. Um, although you can't stand it up, you gotta be careful not to drop this or anything. Um, it does have you know simple lock mechanism but when I do my room tour you'll see how I keep these all like this what I like is you know how deep it is and how much I can fill because I do use a lot of sequins in my shakers you know and then I like to use scoop it up um, so I will have you know whatever it is that I need to match up I will have it out in front of me so I can get the colors and you know it's pretty much the color scheme I'm not gonna add any of the darker reds um, probably no black probably just stick to like the light peach pink and that that color there but I don't think I have exact color we're just gonna do our best and then again my pocket I have three out I don't know why I need to do two but actually I need to do six total all right so I like to cut these up um, with my cutter because I have one <laughs> but you can use your scissors I just like to get my straight lines and it's easier for me I'm going to leave the sealed side, you know, I'm not going to cut that off. So we'll have this extra piece. Now this again, you can reuse and make a little shaker out of that. We're going to keep the height because it's a perfect height for this. It is exactly the same height as my inserts. We're going to keep this. We're going to wrap that with tape and um, we are going to do that first before we seal it and before we fill and seal. And on my right hand side, I have my project life, um, fuse tool which is sold everywhere so I got mine at Hobby Lobby but they have it pretty much at all the craft stores and online um, and I'm actually using my glue gun holder to hold it I don't use this anymore for my glue gun because now I have the one that stands on its own 
And I also have the ruler that comes with your Project Life. I do have scissors just in case. And then I'm going to be putting down just this thick white chip chipboard, which is backing from some kind of a pad or something, or you know, some kind of packaging thing. So I just use something. I like to have a little bit of a surface for fusing to get down. If you use something that's too hard, like the glass one, then um, it's a little harder, at least for me, to do the fusing. So. Now, we need to get some coordinating tape. We could either use a solid color or a glitter color. Um, I haven't picked that out yet, so let me pause for a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I pulled out this one. Not sure where it came from, but all my washi comes from Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby, and sometimes Dollar Tree. So what we're going to do is we're just simply going to go over this. It only has two holes, but we're just going to cover that up. And I'm actually going to go past this notch here. I'm going to try to even it out to this top. And I'm sorry about the Band-Aid, but you see how it's got a notch? What I think I'm going to try to do, and I did that last time, is I passed, I passed my tape and folded it higher than that notch. So it kind of evens it out. And what I'm going to do is have it a little extra on the top part. It's hard to see, so let's see. Maybe that'll work. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I need something, but I don't think it'll show. Let's try this. Oh, there you go. Okay. So let's um, put a, back, a black back in. And see how I'm passing that this top border here? And this is the perfect width, actually. So now what I'm going to do, pull that a little more, is take this one and I'm going to fold it so that it's the same height of this edge here. And make sure that it's straight with the one that's behind there. And now I'm going to do the same thing here. And actually there's a little bit of ledge that it actually catches on so that helps. It's just hard when you're on camera you want to okay and now you want to pass the tape onto this one so it sticks better I should have my other scissors but we'll just use this I'm gonna go a little bit more it's about there okay and then just make sure you get it really on there good so that doesn't peel off later although you can always re you know use it more tape next time just you could use adhesive if you want but this should stay on pretty good because really all you're doing is moving this back and forth so now you see how the edge is even to the top and the bottom the washi and one of the reasons why we do that is because we're going to try to hole punch it even though sometimes the um i'll leave this here for now the hole punch will grab onto the tape and kind of just pull everything and make a mess of it. So hopefully this will punch right. I do have a Repesco, which I got um, through Amazon, and I like it because you can get three different size planner holes on here, and it's set right now to the pocket size. And all you gotta do is line it up to the line. So that's what we're gonna do. And it doesn't really matter if I go this way or this way. We're just gonna slip it in, push it as far as it'll go and hope that it cuts. I feel that it's grabbed, so we're gonna be careful pulling this out. Sometimes it just, come on, there we go. It's because it doesn't completely cut all the little pieces off, can you see? So we're just gonna finish cutting that with the scissors, and I think I'll need my smaller scissors. It's really not these, but. I'll just get those off okay so we're good so now we've got our holes in and now we can fill it and then seal it I'm gonna break out my other scissors because these I don't want to mess up those are new <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do is make sure that the tape that it you know the ending piece 
I can't even see. I think it's right here. Oh, no. I did it so good that I cannot find it, but I think it's... Good grief, I can't find it. I think it's right here. Oh, well, it's going to go this way, right? Oh, why am I even bothering? I can't, I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, we're going to fill this up. <laughs> um, we're going to switch to this now. And fill it with some goodies. So the first thing I know I want in there is some white. So I got my whites and... The majority of my sequence comes from actual um, hobby shops, um, craft shops, you know, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, and I have a lot from AC Moore, although the one AC Moore that used to be here no longer exists here, so <clears throat> only some of my sequence comes from like, uh, what's it called? I can't even think of the name, but I have it linked down below for sequence. Okay, so we're going to put, um, I'm going to put some big ones, a little bit of big ones. And i got to remember this mix because I am going to, I have to do this twice. So a little bit of the big ones. Now this is a small pocket, so we're not going to be able to get too much. What I like about these from Hobby Lobby, it has that iridescent look. Okay, we're just going to use those two sizes and that's it for that. I do want a little bit of gold in here and let me see if I can find I got little ones, but I have bigger ones here too. And I've got stars, but okay. So, and then all my regular gold sequins. These big ones, I think, were Michaels. They might be like Teresa Collins or something, or Heidi Swamp. I don't know. <clears throat> my voice still wants to go. So I'm going to use now. This one here is a mixture of two sizes. I just put them in together. So we'll just use that one. Okay, that's enough gold for now. I could come back and definitely, let's see, do I have, I'm going to do a little bit of peach. So, Cartwright sequence. See, I remember this peach combo, which is two sizes, I got from Cartwright sequence. Actually, it's three different sizes, looks like. So, we're just going to throw in a little bit of that because that's what the cover is made of. This nice, pretty peach. I'm going to do, let's mix it up a little more. Okay. A little more. I'm going to have this be nice and full. Okay, so that's it for that one. All right, next. Um, I don't have that green, but this mixture here. Mm. I think we're going to skip that color because I really don't have it. I need to find it. I've been trying to get that color. Uh, or is it this one here? Hold on. Maybe it's this one. This is very iridescent. Nah. I'll skip it. I'm not going to put that color in there. I don't want to mess it up. So... We are going to use some pink, because there's definitely some pink in here. Okay, we are going to put some big ones and some, like a big spoonful of the little ones. And then, actually, I feel like I need to put that color that I mentioned. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just holding this and kind of, you could actually just take your spoon and mix it up like you're mixing ingredients just to see how you like it. And if you know what cover or what the first page is that's going to be behind there, you can like look at it this way. And yeah, I still want something. I just wish I had that mint color. So I'm going to go back to, I think, this one here, because it has something similar to this one, but a little toned down. And these I found at Tuesday morning. So Tuesday morning lately has been having 
these jars and I need to take these out. I have like three of these. Actually, I should have put some in there, but that's not going to do it. And they're normally $1.99, so I have picked up several of this color because I do love that combo. And I'm going to go ahead and just use it because I need some of this color in here, even though it's not the same. So maybe just one scoop carefully. A little more. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of these. Is it mixture of blue in there? Nope. I don't want that. Can you kind of see the color in there? So this one has a darker color in there. So, all right. So just a touch. Plus it has a mix of like translucent in there. So if I can remember this recipe, <laughs> there's some clear ones and it's sticking to me. Stay. I just wanted a touch of that color, not too much. You can also stick in here small die cuts, like say, um, put this down. Uh, trying to see here. I don't know, like a, a like a picture of a little perfume bottle or something, and you could just throw little pieces in there like that. But this is going to be pretty full, as you can see. So I think that's pretty good. And even though it's not the same color, at least it brings a little bit of touch of that color. It kind of changes into a green as you move it. So let's just go ahead and seal it. I can still add the vinyl later because that's what I did with mine last time. It was an afterthought. Now this is kind of full, so I am not going to lay this completely flat. I'm going to put it at an angle. So it's not, I'm not squishing all that down. I'm just holding that edge. And then we're going to seal it. This has been on for a while. The longer you leave on your fuse tool, the better. And I'm not going to get that tape. At least I'm not going to try. And then we're going to seal it. I'm putting a little bit of pressure. And the thicker the plastic, of course, the more pressure you got to put. So this should seal and you could feel like the back should also feel like it's been fused. So it should be completely full. It needs to get a little shook up a little more to mix all that. Okay. And with this, I'm going to leave the holes as is. I'm not going to make little notches in there like I did with some other, like this here, which I made with my Silhouette Cameo. Um, there's notches so that you could just pull this out. And then I cut down a Target Dollar Spot pocket so you can put stuff in there. But this one's going to go like so. It is better to open with these things instead of trying to open this way. Although I am very bad at opening it the wrong way. But look at how cute it is that. Actually what we could do is put a sticker on here. You know, just a regular sticker. Like a word or your initial or something like that. But look at how adorable that is. And it's just the right size. It's slightly shorter than this, but that's okay. It, you know, you can't even tell. And look at the color, how well it matches that. Look at it, and it's so full. I mean, you can barely see what's back there. I love how they came out. They, this one came out. So, I'm going to do it one more time on camera since I need to make a matching one and see if I can remember the mixture. So, <clears throat> I won't put the black cardstock down this time, though, because you, you get the idea, I think. We're going to trim off the right side. Make sure you leave that seal end there so you don't have to do extra sealing. Take our washi and with the part that's going to get holes, I guess I should put, take that back. Make sure this part, you know, is facing up left side because we are going to make sure that the finished ends are going to be in the back and then Lay this in the center of that. Turn it around. Flip this over up to this ledge here. Make sure the tape is lined up with the front. And then same thing here. Line it up and pull a little more. Make sure it's overlapping. Cut great way to use up washi too 
and just make sure it's all down real good there's chances of it peeling away okay so now we're going to fill it up again and i put my sequins the ones that the containers that i use are on the floor now so i don't mix them with the other ones that i had out at least i don't think i will plus i'm going to look at this one that i have here so i used a spoonful of sugar <laughs> Has anyone seen the new Mary Poppins? I would like to see it because I love the original, but it'd be nice to see something revised. All right, so what we use here, we used two different sizes of white, which is the larger one and I think the medium size, right? Because I don't see the teeny tiny ones in there. So let me try to stay on screen. this open and oh is this one and then this larger one here Hobby Lobby has these in three different sizes okay we got that we use gold and we use the teeny tiny gold and the medium size gold and again they also have this in three sizes at Hobby Lobby Okay, so we're done with that one, I think. And, oh, there's one more, the pink and the peach. All right, but I do know that I used some of this one, so we'll just go ahead and put the, there was one, a little more. Okay, I think. Was it there's always one that sticks to my hand and we use this peach mix here I don't have my containers color recorded because I'm always buying things and then you end up filling it up and you can't really color quote color code whatever and then the pinks which again was, I think I only used the large and the small. I don't think I used the medium. So this one, and that looks like a lot, but I think, I think we're good. It looks just like it. Look at that, it's like candy. Okay. So I think I got all the colors, yep. And I'm going to mix it with a spoon first, just to get it going. Sometimes it doesn't shake too well once you've sealed it. The little ones are always going to be on the bottom, no matter what. Okay, so last thing is the sealing, and we are done. Oh, not I still got to make the holes. But you get the picture. Just trying to make it straight. Okay. I'm also going to be making clear pockets. I didn't mention that earlier for these rings. So I'll do it on this video. Well, no, I'll do it in a separate video. I'm going to do it in separate. So there's a couple of videos. Oh, I love how full this is. Oh. Okay, so we got that one. And so we make the holes real quick. I like to do all my fusing at the same time. So if I know I have to fuse stuff, whatever needs fusing, I'll break it all out and fuse it all in one shot. Same thing with my um, laminating. If I got laminating to do, I want to do all that in one shot. It's like a, it's just a process for me. It makes it easier, makes me go through this fast okay come on out that came out easier it was only one okay although i don't think i pushed it in that far i should have pushed it in further i think i was in a rush but it's still gonna work so actually it works fine 
so there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. So it also fills up your planner. If you like chunky planners like me, little chunky planners, it helps fill it up and it gives you something nice to look at when you open it up and play with. And you, know, you can hear that noise too. So, so cute. All right, so that's the end of this tutorial. And next I'm gonna make some clear pockets to throw in here, at least just one, because I'm also throwing in here a folder. So there's a folder, and I, I like to have some kind of clear pocket. Since these are not the traveler's notebooks, and I, you know, my traveler's notebooks have pockets on the insert covers. So I like to have pockets. I love pockets. We will. I will do that after I finish doing the shakers for my other four tins, which are these. And you'll see that video next. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.